I'm General How To, and today's video is about replacing a hydraulic hose. So right behind us, we have a leaking hose, and I'm going to talk about which options would be best for you. Should I go to the local parts store? Should I have them do it for me? Or should I go and just repair it myself? So hopefully after watching this video, you guys can decide which option really would be best for you. And we have two fittings here. One happens to be a reusable fitting and the other happens to be a crimp style which needs to be put on with the swedge machine. So I'm going to talk about the two differences with these. This one is a reusable, happens to be about $20, $25, sometimes even $30, $35 depending on where you're buying it from. Okay, so why would someone pay this much money for a fitting? The reason is because it's reusable. Again, there's so many different options. Buying it from someone, using a swedge fitting, which happens to be like $4, $5, or using a reusable fitting. Why would anyone spend $20, $25, $30 on one fitting when you could buy one for $4 or $5? The reason is because you need to spend five, dollars $600 on a machine, a swedge tool, to put this on. So if you're not really dealing with a lot of fittings, a lot of hydraulics, maybe it pays to have someone put it on, or maybe it pays to get reusable fittings. For this type of fitting, you don't need that machine. Spend more money on the fitting, but you save a lot of money on buying that machine. For me, I have a lot of hydraulics. I have a lot of outdoor hydraulics, which are exposed to the elements. So for me, that's the best option. Why do I have this in my hand? Really to show you guys in the video. And because this hose happens to be going on inside of a wax room, a hydraulic room. So it's not exposed to the elements. So this fitting is actually, for my option, a better idea. So we're going to come back and I'm going to show you guys how to install this one and how to install this one, the differences, and why, which one you should choose. All right, so again, the hose can be purchased at discounthydraulichose.com. This is Weatherhead, which is made by Parker. Happens to be the best hose that you could buy on the market. So the first fitting we're talking about is the reusable. What you're gonna do is when you do get it, it comes together like this, you're gonna unscrew it. All right, comes separated. Now the trick to these is, I'm gonna get my tools ready. You're gonna think righty tighty. You're gonna think you're gonna put it on and tighten it like this. No, it's reverse threading. So you're gonna go counterclockwise and then you're gonna grab this once it bottoms out. I'll get my tools, I'll show you. You're gonna want the end of the hose right in the end right here on the lip. Once you can't turn it anymore, you know this one is done and that's when this part comes in and I'll show you guys. I'm gonna grab my tools, we'll come back, show you guys how to properly install this. All right, so again, with these options, you don't really need any fancy tools. You need just a wrench, two wrenches. It, it helps to have a vise, but you do not need a vise. It actually helps to have another person, but that person happens to be holding the camera. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it just with a vise. Again, you don't need it, but it does help. All right, so again, which way? Clockwise, counterclockwise. You're gonna push it in and you're gonna start turning counterclockwise. Again, we spoke, once that hose bottoms out, you know you're done. Once you get about halfway done, you're gonna use the tool. It's gonna to start to get a little too tight for your hand. Occasionally take a peek inside, see where that hose is at. All right, I'm going to take a peek. It's almost there. Alright, once that's done, don't go too crazy. Just make it snug. Alright, now we're going to show you the second part. Alright, so we have the um, first part screwed in all the way. The hose bottomed out right on the edge. Now we're going to screw in the second part. Okay, so you're going to push it right in. It helps to put a little grease on here. 
some never see stuff like this right here okay this stuff works really great especially if it's going to be used in wet conditions very little don't go crazy with this stuff put it right on the end and it'll work its way in it'll help it screw in easily and when it comes time to remove this it won't be stuck all right so push it in all the way hand tighten it once you get to um, a point when it can no longer be hand tightened you're going to take your wrench this happens to be seven eighths and you're going to go all the way in until it backs right in so i'm going to get started we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like All right, so we're back, we're almost done. It's become very difficult. Oh. All right, and once that fitting bottoms out, you know you're done. So this side happens to be all done. That's what it looks like, it should swivel very nicely. Now we're gonna talk about the other fitting. We're gonna come back, we're gonna show you the differences. How long this one takes, how long that one takes, and uh, we'll show you guys how to do this one right here, which is the swedge fitting. Okay, we'll be back. All right, for the last option, the option that works for me. The whole point of this video is to show you guys examples, talk facts, and sh maybe help you decipher which option is going to be best for you. The last option, the swedge machine. Again, five, six, sometimes seven hundred dollars. This happens to be a Parker. You'd think you'd buy the machine, you'd be done. You're not. You need a die, which happens to be the size of the fitting, okay? And you need a pusher, which is right in here. So the die is about 150, the pusher is about 80, 90 dollars. So if you're using the same size hose, which I am, every size hose in here is the same. So this works for me, all right? So when you need this, you need this swedge machine you need a vise. You can't really use this without a vise. You can't have someone hold it. So we're going to get this set up and I'm going to show you guys how to put this on that hose. All right, so we got the swedge machine into the vise. You have your hose. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your fitting. Line it up just like this. So when you do push the fitting onto the hose, you know where to stop. So you're going to put it right here. Grab a pen pencil, whatever you have, and put a little mark right there, right in the end, so you know exactly where it goes. Okay? You're going to take this, you're going to slide it in. It helps to have a flat surface. I use the ground. Just give a nice firm push. Okay? Find your mark. Here it is, right on, right on where it should be. Just again, just to be safe. Okay. All right, so you see it's right where it should be. Now the important part, grease. You're gonna wanna grease the fitting and you're gonna wanna grease the die. Greasing the inside of the swedge machine where the die is going to go. Put that down. And I'm going to grease the dies itself, inside and outside. You can't use too much grease here. Okay, you're going to grab your fitting, you're going to slide it right in. You're going to grab your other piece, connect them. You see some swedge machines have this little wire here that holds it down. If it does, just pry it up. And now you're ready to go. I'm going to lower it down right into the top of the fitting by hand. Alright, once it stops, I'm going to grab my wrench and I'm going to start pressing it down. Okay, now comes the fun part. You're going to want to hold the top of the swedge machine because we're going to be putting a lot of force. So if you don't hold this, it'll come right out of the vise. So put a steady hand right on the top. 
grab your wrench, and we're gonna screw it down all the way until it bottoms out, until the pusher bottoms out to the die. Again, hold right here, nice firm grip, and just start pressing it down. Okay, that's it. Whew. We're gonna get it opened up and see what it looks like. All right, so this is what it uh, should look like. A nice crimped fitting, no mushrooming on the top, and uh, that's about it. So hopefully this video helps you guys. We have a lot of different options, which there are a ton of different options. Just remember, price in the long run. It took me maybe 10 to 15 hoses before the investment of this machine and the fittings paid off. It took me about a year to learn, hey, look, you're spending 60, 70, 80 dollars. A hose this long, which is 17 feet, would be a lot more before I realized, hey, I need to find this. I need to do the options and you know, see if there's any cheaper options out, out there. So hopefully this video can help you guys save you some money. All right, thank you, subscribe.